This video is probably going to annoy you. With the imminent release of the centre, I thought it would be a good idea to go back and look at the original maps for ARK and do one of these tier lists, never done one before, and I know it's going to bother you. <laughs> Because everyone's got an opinion, so please share them in the comments. Right, so I've got the 12 original maps that were released on Ark Survival Evolved. The first one, the islands. So we're going to rate them S to D. For me, the islands, it was the starting map. It's the one I've probably played on the most. If there's a way of finding out what map you've actually played on, if there's somewhere where it collects the data, please let me know. I'd be interested to see that. I've probably played the island the most on Evolved and probably on Gen Abel on Ascended too because you don't really get much choice on Ascended. The island starts it all. I'm putting it in A. I, th I think it's a solid map. It's a great map to introduce you to the game. And more importantly, it's got dinosaurs on it. From Scorch onwards, they started just messing about with all the other crap, didn't they? At its core, it should be a dinosaur game. That's what sold me on it originally. That's what I was really interested in. Um, for, so for me, it's it's a solid map. It's it's, it's not quite uh, S tier, but it's it's an, um, a solid map. Then we had Scorch release. I think Scorch came out before the center. If it didn't, I think it came out for when I was playing these on Xbox, because um, up until, oh, I don't know. Maybe Genesis 2. I was playing all of these on Xbox, so yeah, so obviously Xbox console players, those of you out there, you know, you get shafted. You'd always get it late. So I'm gonna go with Scorched. So Scorched for me was fun, but it was kind of lacking. Scorched introduced the, uh, start seeing the fantasy elements. We had the death worms, the rock elementals, and the Wyvern, which everyone's obsessed with. For me, I would get rid of the Wyverns. I would get rid of everything and just let you have like a fast, a fast as hell RG again. I missed that. An RG with 200 speed plus. <laughs> and we all know that the issues with Scorch, they was there to play their legal troubles. It was a rushed map. They never really finished it. And I think if you look on a Sensed, I don't think they really added much to it. I mean, I'm rating Evolved, but you know, obviously with the Ascended, uh, we've seen the Islands and we've seen the Ascended, uh, the Scorched on Ascended now. Islands was great on Ascended, lots, lots of new changes. I just didn't get the sense that Scorched was changed that much and I kind of gave up playing it quite early. But it was a B for me. The center was great fun. It was the first mod of map released. Again, it stuck with just the standard dinos. There's not a fan. No, there's not a fancy on it, I don't think. I suppose when they released the giant squid, but that was well later, wasn't it? It was talking about release. The sense was the first mod of map that they uh, officially you know, chose. And I think at this point, Wildcard didn't really know what to do with the mod of map. So they kind of just uploaded it as a free one. Uh, very first time I went on it, my mate had already been on it and he said to me, it's solid and everything's a 150. And I was like, get in, jumped on it. Straight away it's a lightning storm, which was cool as hell because we hadn't had lightning in, in arc at that point. And a 150 car now at me. <laughs> Fantastic map. Different biomes, lots of fun. I, I, I probably played the sensor more than anything. Um, so the sensor for me is an A as well. It's a strong A. Here's where I probably annoy a lot of you because of Ragnarok. I thought it was too big. It takes you ages flying over the map. So Ragnarok was the second modded map that they released. And for me, it was pretty much, let's just throw everything at it. So we had a massive desert with not much in it. Uh, one thing I find with mod, ma modded maps, when they go really big, it's like the spawn rates aren't, aren't quite there. So you end up with just lots of empty space and it's boring. And I know you can play around with it and stuff and change the spawn things, but if you just want to plug in and play, you can be asked. It had some great, gorgeous landscapes. That bit with the three waterfalls is immense, but someone always robbed that base. Um, there's the cavernous bit with all the columns, and I can't remember if the griffins live in there or not. And some of the shoreline was great. I just, for me, I don't know, I just got bored playing. Oh, it did have the cool volcano, didn't it, where it erupts and you'd have to move out the way. But, um, 
it was just too big. Maybe I need to go back to it. For me, I, I'm gonna go with a B. I, I don't think. Um, I know people love it. I just, for me, it was a means to an end. Get on, get your Griffin. Get onto another map. The third official oh, uh, map was Aberration. Uh, I'm banging at an S. Aberration's my favourite map. Uh, it's it's superb. All right, I did say earlier on that dinosaurs was what brought me to the game and that's what I wanted. But Aberration was just completely left field. It was so different from every, anything else we'd ever seen. The idea that the Ark had like tilted on its side, which was weird because when you see them, they're in space, so no later on. <laughs> There's a lot of recording in this series. So the arc has tilted on its side, and because of that, you're playing, you're not playing horizontally, you're playing vertically, which was a, an interesting concept. And because of all the, the, the issues, then a lot of the dinosaurs have mutated, and we had that radiation spike. There was no flyers, which I know people were annoyed with, but I think that works because I think we should have smaller maps on the game that encourages you to use land animals. I think one of the problems now with Ark, especially the more you use it, you skip about 90% of the dinos, you don't really use them anymore. It's pretty much you get on, you get up to the level so you can use a pterosaur, and then you only want one of them so you can get an RG, and then you're set. But Aberration, it was so much fun. It was completely different. I love the bulb dogs. They were so cool. The caves were really tough and interesting. Um, going down on a hunt. It was terrifying, you know, waiting for the rock queen, eh, not the rock queen, the reaper queen, you know, hunting for them. The rock tree nest playing rock tree bingo egg. I think the wivens, everyone loves the wivens, but for me, I just felt more satisfaction going for a rock drake egg rather than I did for the wiven egg. I think it's because it was a whole, with the wiven trench on Scorch, you fly over there and you fly through, there's a couple of nests, you grab them and you get a bit of a chase. But on Aberration, you've got to go all the way down to the bottom. You pretty much, you've got to wear your hazmat gear. It's dangerous as hell. And once you've got to get the egg, you've got to try and get back up. So once you've got a rock drake, it's easier. But that first egg going for that. And then, you know, like your bulb dog and run out of light and those little horrible nameless that jump up and try and get you. Oh, it's, 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 it's a superb map and it's the one map I cannot wait to see on Ascended. The one map I'm looking forward to more than any other. I might be wrong here, but I don't think they've released anything between Aberration and Extinction. And the problem at this point in my own pub's journey, uh, do I looked at the mic, should you look at the camera? At this point, I'd kind of given up on our, I was fed up with it. I was like, you know, it was taking over my life. I was obsessed about it and I thought it's not healthy and there's other games to play. Although I can't remember what game I was playing. At one point I had to have an operation and they were like we can keep you in or we can early release it but you know we usually keep you in. And I wanted to play R. <laughs> so I went no I'm going home. And so I'm lying there. I've got like staples across my stomach. I'm like exhausted. And there I am hunting for a 150 friggin' Rex in the middle of the uh, snow biome. <sighs> Good times. So Extinction come out and at this point I used to play on Xbox with my mate and um, he was like, he got, he brought me back for Aberration because sorry, before Aberration I kind of gave up a bit. And then but Extinction may be actually when I got the PC. I'm trying to remember if I got the PC. Genesis 2, I think that's when I first set up a server. But I honestly can't remember if I was playing Extinction on the PC or not. But anyway, it was a good map. It was interesting. They tried again, sort of knew where it was. It was a city. Um, I didn't like the biomes were outside. And weirdly, the underground forest was not a biome. So why have the other two in a bubble and not that one? For me as well, when I did finally get on it, I ended up playing on a server that was and I wish I could figure this out. I think it was a PvP server, but you like the beaver dams had all weapons in and CP. They didn't just have CP, they had all ammo and everything in and uh, tech gear elements. That's what they had in. 
so that was pretty fun but again it was, it was a solid map but again it's not one i really wanted to come back to so i'm gonna go with a oh is it a b yeah i'm gonna go with a b i have fun playing it at this point though the irony is me mate to give it up so when i was playing it he couldn't be bothered. <laughs> he, he was like, no, I'm, I'm not doing it. So it must have been Xbox then. Valkyro, I just could not get into at all. I um, I tried. I, I built by a... By a, a, a lake, if that makes any sense. A big lake. But, um, yeah. This is where I, I gave up on Arch at this point. It, it just... Uh, I'm going to put that as a D. For me, it was just a dud and it just bored me and i thought no i can't be bothered now uh, oh one thing i haven't talked about while i'm going through this is obviously the official maps i went through them all again with the disco community because we thought arc 2 was coming out last year so we did the pub crawl um they're all on the channel it's a playlist i'll put the link in the description if you want to go back and watch them so we did every every official map within 30 days to try and you know get right through so we can go to arc if i'm still bothering with these games We'll do the pub crawl two, which will be the uh, ascended maps. But yeah, so obviously I've given up on Arch, and then I remember I know what it was. Sorry, right? So at this point, um, I really wanted a PC. Never had a PC in my life. Never thought I'd ever get one, and I get like a you know a little worm digging in my brain saying you know pc 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 and i was like yeah, i need to get one and the reason i wanted to get one is because whenever like there was a modded arc video on youtube i just turn it off i couldn't play mods on the xbox so there was no point but i really wanted to try him i mean mate got one and he was telling me and um one of the things I'm really terrible for is like, if someone buys like a brand new telly, in my mind, I'm like jealous and I need to get a better one. <laughs> so I was so much debt. So I got back to PC and at the time, the, 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 the Genesis season pass was like 12 pounds on CD keys. So I was like, well, I'll buy it. But there was a massive year, wasn't he, in between. Genesis was sh was not good, though. I didn't enjoy Genesis. I hated the uh, the biomes. It was very buggy. It didn't work. When we were doing the pub crawl um, last year, it's the one map I thought, uh, I really can't be bothered with this anymore. <laughs> it was mine, and I was streaming. It's just, it's not a good map for me. I, I can't stand it. It's just boring. It's muddy. The whole idea of the missions, it was just... I mean, one of the reliefs on the pub crawl one was um, you did not everyone didn't have to do all the missions to do the bosses because if that was the case, I'd give up because I just could not be bothered with half of their missions. Crystal Isles, I came too late, but I had a lot of fun on it. I never really finished it, but um, I thought it was really. Uh, uh, do you know what? It looked great. I'm gonna put it as a B. It looks fantastic. It, it's weird using the word pretty, but it's the only word that's coming to mind at the minute. The visuals were fantastic. It was a nice space. You wasn't flying around. The idea that you could just jump on a, a Wyvern's back and shove a crystal in its grid. You know, what's not to like? It was fun. Really good game. Then the last official arc map came out, Genesis 2, and this was phenomenal for me. I, I love this. This is one of my favorite maps. I think at this point, the devs were like, you've been with us for like six, seven years, whatever it was at that point have everything <laughs> so it was like you do the drops and you again like an industrial forge it's the only map where i've actually bothered doing the cloning and doing all the high-end tech gear because they was giving it all to us there was missions on there but they weren't as bad as genesis one they were a lot more fun the map was good it was nice spaced out and i like the idea of it being split in two uh, but the drops alone make it go to it. it was so good a map i honestly can't remember if i've played lost island <laughs> i think i have it's all with the monkeys isn't it and again it sounds bad it's probably a great map but i'm gonna put it in c purely because i can't remember it <laughs> I think I played it, I really do. I think when it doesn't stick in your brain, I didn't hate it because then I would be like, yeah, you know, Valguero made me quit, Genesis one, why not never made me quit, I'll never know. Lost Island, I, I honestly can't remember much about it. No offense to the modern and all that stuff. Oh, time's up on me, I'm cooking ribs at the moment. And then we've got Fjorda. Fjorda looks amazing. But where do I put it, do I put it in? 
I think Fjorda was the last game I played with the Discord guys on Evolved before the sends have come out. I'm going to put a B. I did do a hardcore challenge on it and died within five minutes because it was freezing. It was such a cold map. It was good fun and maybe I'll come back to these. Maybe we do another pub crawl because Ascended is... I don't know. I haven't done a review of Ascended. I'm not sure I'm going to do one. It's one of them. It needs a lot of work of Ascended. But anyway, there's my list for um, the Ark islands i'm sure you'll disagree you may agree let me know in the comments what you think uh just don't be abusive no one likes a prick <laughs> i'm such an idiot i've just found <laughs> obviously the presentation mode thrown out a challenge for my youtube colleague a plant mix gaming let's see what your rankings are you spawn with a video 